and the malic acid is so formed here will enter into first phase called oxidative decarboxylation means here NA1 and NADPH will be formed here because ox because of oxidation on NADPH and when the carbon dioxide is so formed will be entered in the Kelvin cycle that means the, the four carbon compound which is a malic acid become three carbon compound the C2 say when, when the CO2 enters Kelvin cycle that is business as usual that means the glucose will be formed by we have discussed about the series in the previous slide that is the same here the pyruvic acid so far that means the three carbon in the bundle sheet cells will enter into the you know mesophyll cells and this pyruvic acid becomes PEP what we call regeneration that means we have to regenerate the primary carbon dioxide acceptor that means phosphoenol pyruvate which is a three carbon compound you know three carbon compound by means of an enzyme that means the enzyme catalyzing this reaction is pyruvic dikinase and two ATPs has been utilized yeah, the how ATP says means say if the two ATP has been utilized, they become two ADPs. If one ATP utilized, it becomes an AMP. So somehow two phosphate bonds, this is very important. Two phosphate bonds will be utilized that ultimately convert the pyruvic acid, which is three carbon compound, into phosphoenol pyruvate pep by means of enzyme that means catalyzing catalyzed by the enzyme pyruvic dikinase. So it is about the C4 cycle. Say the first the carbon dioxide will enter into the mesophyll cell. Then combine with water to form carbonic acid by means of car two carbonic anhydrase. Then it will dissociate from H plus and bicarbonate. It will combine with PEP, that means the primary carbon dioxide acceptor, phosphonyl pyruvate, which is a three carbon compound, and it forms oxaloacetic acid, that means four carbon compound. And then again it converts into either malic acid or aspartic acid. So if there is a NH2, there may be amino group, it becomes aspartic acid. Here if they form malic acid. By means of malic dehydrogenase and one NADPH will be consumed here. Then the malic acid which formed in the mesophyll cell will enter into the bundle sheet cells and this malic acid will undergo oxidative decarboxylation. That means when NADPH will be formed because of oxidation and the decarboxylation and the carbon dioxide will enter in the Kelvin cycle. And this pyruvic acid so formed which is a three carbon compound will enter into the mesophyll cells and convert into phosphorylal pyruvate. That means what we call regeneration phase which is the primary carbon dioxide acceptor by means two enzyme primary pyruvic dikinase and two ATPs will be utilized. It's about the C4 cycle. The most important feature is, I told you already, the bundle sheet cells is a site of Kelvin cycle in C4 plants. Whereas in case of C3 plants, the mesophyll cells are the site of Kelvin cycle. The only thing is, the primary carbon dioxide acceptor in case of C4 plants will take place in mesophyll cells and they after it formed the four carbon compound enter into the bundle sheet cell through plasma It's a regular phenomenon, it's like involving two different kinds of cells for that means for execution to implement this process. Why? Why this hectic schedule? Just to avoid photorespiration. I told you already photorespiration is a expon is a, is a it's like exploitative resource. The expert component which exploits the resources of the plant. There are no ATPs in case of you know photorespiration. There are no sugar components. The carbon dioxide which generally useful as a raw material for the synthesis of organic compounds. Here the carbon dioxide utilized, the need produced in the sense the releasing of carbon dioxide implied that some of the carbon compounds has been utilizing. At the same time, ATPs were also utilized. That is why it is some sometimes considered as a parasitic aspect. So plants, so I say particularly C4 plants which has been uh, successfully adapted to the high temperature and a high high oxygen concentration successfully avoid this photorespiration by means of this marion how the crans anatomy you know the specialized bundle sheet cells and circling the vascular tissues that means bundle sheet that means uh, uh, no, xylem phylum tissue you know? then the dichloro dimorphic chloroplast the a granula will take care of the light reaction whereas the a, gra a grana which appears that means with the only stroma without thylakoid in the bundle sheet cells they will take care of the kelvin cycle that is how the technical advance what we call technical tacticality in c4 plants enables to successfully avoid the photorespiration okay so it's a uh, we, we were discussing about photorespiration how it forms you know it's about c4 cycle and before we go into that it's there are certain issues that we have to concern about of course the c4 plants the regarding the number of atps you know in general the c3 plants C3 plants, the number of ATPs utilized are 18 ATPs, of course 12 NADPH. In case of C4 plants, 
it's a bit different because say 30 ATPs that means 12 extra ATPs has been utilized in C protein. Why? How? And where? We have discussed at one step, you know, pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid become phosphoenol pyruvate simply by utilizing two ATPs that form two ADPs. This is respect to one pyruvic acid means one carbon dioxide. I told you already. Six carbon dioxide are required for the synthesis of just one. That means C6H12O6 plus six C3 terms. C3 means Kelvin cycle. Kelvin cycles. So, 6 into 2, 12, 12 ATPs, so 30 ATPs have been utilized in C4 plan. This is very important. But they have successfully avoided the photorespiration because if, had there been a photorespiration, it may exploit the resources because the carbon dioxide, which is a raw material, will be raising out. Instead, it may be utilized in, that means it may convert into organic compounds like glucose. But it has been released in that is what we call a detrimental aspect. In the, to avoid the same, just is a matter of 12 ATPs, that's it. So, it's, uh, uh, it means that C4 plants are successful and they are productive and they are better adaptable than C3 plants. C4 plants are better adaptable than C3 plants because of this. No. We were discussing about you know C2 respiration, that means C2 cycle. What makes it so detrimental? I told you now, carbon dioxide will be released. How? So the C2, what we call photorespiration. Then name it in that because of phosphoglycolate. Phosphoglycolate. A two carbon compound will be formed here. Okay, just like you know, in oxidized state, a full carbon gas of C4. And not PGA, three phosphorylating a C3, here the phosphoglycolate. Yet it involves three kinds of cell organisms: one chloroplast, and two, the peroxisomes, and three mitochondria. So the phosphoglycolate will be formed in the chloroplast, just for understanding this chloroplast, I'm saying, and it will enter into the peroxisomes. Per means peroxisomes, okay? And this glycolate become glyoxylate. Glyoxylate. And this glyoxylate become glycine by amino group. And this glycine, which formed in the peroxisome, diffuses into the mitochondria. Mitochondria. Yeah, this is very important. Two glycine molecules converts into one serine molecule. During this process, one carbon dioxide will be released. This is very this is the essential step, you know. Two glycine molecules in mitochondria becomes one serine and in this process one carbon dioxide will be released. And this serine, yet yeah, during this process, amino group will be released. And this amino group will just like circulating between intercirculating between the serine and glycine. This serine enters into the again the peroxisomes and during by means of series of reactions, series of intermediaries, it becomes that means PGA, phosphoglycic acid, in chloroplast. It somehow it will reach the chloroplast by means of series of intermediaries. This is very important, you know. This is how the first, you know. The first the compound is formed is the phosphoglycolate with the C2 with, by means of RBBP oxygenase activities. Okay, RBBP just I'm saying uh, I didn't draw because we have discussed about it. Or then this glycolate which is formed in the chloroplast enters in the peroxisomes, become glyoxylate, then the glycine, it enters into the mitochondria, then then this, this two molecules of glycine become one molecule of serine and one carbon dioxide release, and this is responsible for you know what I said before respiration, you know. Then the serine and the internal peroxisome between this for the NH should be released and it will circulate between serine and glycine and it enters into by means of series of intermediate compounds enters into the chloroplast to become PGA, phosphoglycolate. This is how the issue ends. So the thing is saying to avoid the same, the technical tactical by means of trans anatomy and dichloroplast evolved by the C4 plants. With regard to other issues, you know, with regard to other issues, that means what is the difference between C3 and C4 plants? 
This is the same thing. The primary carbon dioxide acceptor in C3 plant is RDBP. That means 5 carbon compound. B plus 1 pep is phosphor. In case of C4, it is a T carbon. That means phosphonylphalate. Here, the first stable protein of C3 is 3 phosphoglyceric acid. The 3 carbon. Here, C4 plant. So, 4 carbon oxaloacetate. And the most important thing is the Kelvin cycle in C4 plant will take place in bundle sheet cells. In case of C3 plants, it takes place in mesophyll cells. And most most important, the photoresperation will not take place in C4 plants because of Crayon's anatomy and dichloro, dimorphic chloroplast. But the photoresperation takes place in C3 plants. That means C3 plant doesn't have the adaptive built features, which is the photoresperation.